All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about an incredibly important point in the game that you're going to get to where there is the potential to make a very, very big mistake. And this is going to be the kind of mistake that's going to cripple your account and really set you back quite a bit. It's something that I almost just did myself. And I know that if it's something that I almost did, it's definitely going to be something that a lot of other people have the potential to do themselves. So let's get into it and let's talk about a very pivotal point in the game that's going to happen to everyone. And that is when they start to make the transition from going from tier one to tier too. This is a very big point in the game because not only are you going to jump up a lot in item levels because tier one gear, um, you know, you're going to end at 600. And then the second that you pick up your tier two gear, you're immediately going to start off at 800. Plus you go through all those easy levels again. So you're probably going to get to something like 900 pretty darn quickly. So the jump from 600 to 900 is very, very fast compared to the very slow grind of like 500 to 600. So once you end up getting your main character to tier two, something very important happens. And that is that tier one materials no longer become useful to you at all. Um, the bound materials anyway. So on your main character, bound guardian stones, and I'll just show you guys as an example here, like these materials right here, um, these bound destruction stones, bound guardian stone fragments, and I don't actually have any for good reason because these are completely useless to me now. They're, they're no good. Now that I'm in tier two, I have no use for these on my main character. And also very importantly, the leap stones. They're, they're no use to me. This happens once you transition into tier two. And so you want to be very, very mindful after you get to tier two of claiming certain items that are going to pop up. Like this is something that I almost didn't even think about because the red dot game in games like this are just whenever you see a red dot, just go and uh, you know claim whatever rewards are that the red dot gives you. And I wasn't even paying attention and I almost claimed this on my main character. This is a big no-no. And this is something that you really wanna be very careful of the second that you get your main character to tier two. And I'm not just talking about, you know, from like the welcome challenge, but any other source of bound Tier 1 materials, bound guardian stones, destruction stones, bound leap stones, which, is, which are these ones right here, um, bound harmony shards. These right here uh, are no longer useful to my main character in any way, shape, or form. If I claim these right now, they're just worthless. They're completely worthless. What I can actually do, though, is I can switch over to an alt character right now, and I'm going to switch over to my bard, and I'm going to claim these on my bard. And in that way, they're going to be useful. They're actually going to add value to my account. So if I were to go through and not even really think about this, and once my main character hits tier two, if I start claiming every reward without even really looking at it and take all those bound harmony leap stones, harmony shards, destruction, guardian stones, all that sort of stuff, I am just crippling my account progress right now um, because that stuff is just dead. It's dead items now on a, a character that's not going to provide any value to my account whatsoever. And I'm going to explain here. Um, it's going to be a little bit complicated, but I'm going to do the best that I can. I'm going to explain how to treat this stuff properly to get progress on your main character. And you might be like, oh no, this is going to involve alts, right? I want people to start thinking of alts more as a tool for your main character instead of alts as in the traditional sense. If you want to with alt characters, you don't even have to make new classes. Like you can, and I was even thinking about doing this myself. You can just make copies of your main character and just essentially have a, an army of clones. That's just as good um, and just as useful for your account progress as if you want to experiment around and play other classes. It's really up to you. But don't think of alts as in the traditional sense of alts. Think of them as a tool for your main character. And now that I'm on one of my alts here, I can take this very exact reward right here and I could end up claiming this, and now it's going to provide value to my account. I'm not gonna pick it up quite yet, um, but that's basically what I would do right there. Don't think of this as just for your welcome challenge. Be on the lookout for any bound rewards that you get, and this includes buying things from the Mari's Secret Shop as well. So the Mari's Secret Shop has very useful stuff. I actually just put a video about this right now, talking about the enhancement materials. But, uh, you know, even when your main character gets to tier two, these Harmony Leap Stones, for example, it's not like I might never buy these again. Um, these are still potentially useful, but they're not going to be useful on that main character. They can be useful on alts to move their progress forward, but I want to be very careful that when I do end up purchasing these, it's going to go through here. It's going to go to the product inventory. And if you take a look at it, it's going to say bind when obtained. I want to be very careful and make sure to claim this on my characters that are going to actually use it and not characters that are already in tier two. 
So I'm going to claim this on my bard right now, and it's not going to be a dead item as if I were to make a big oopsie and claim it on my sorceress, which is now in tier two. So now that I've explained this here, I want to go through and explain how your alts are going to be used as a tool to help your main character here and why you still want to be mindful of these materials. Like the second that your main character gets into tier two, that doesn't mean that you should always ignore tier one materials from, from this point forward. They're still incredibly useful. You just need to make sure to claim them on the right characters and to use them correctly. So I'm going to do a bit of a breakdown because I've also seen a lot of questions about this. You know, Lost Ark's been out for a week now, and I've still seen plenty of people ask me about alts and how to set them up properly. And this will really help you get a better understa understanding of uh, how alts are going to work as a tool for your main character and why you want to claim these items correctly. So I'm going to put some text up here um, because I think if I just talk this out and I don't put any text, it's going to probably be a bit too overwhelming. So hopefully this will help uh, make it a bit easier to kind of understand. But we've got the main character. Um, you're probably going to get stuck at around 550 gear score, getting close to 600, which is tier two. Um, you know, if you have done all your islands and you've been keeping up, you might be able to get there without feeling like there's any kind of a roadblock. But if you do get to a roadblock in the like mid 500s, that's completely, completely normal. And this is where the concept of using alts as a tool to help your main character really kind of comes into effect. So now, and there's no right or wrong number. You can have zero alts if you have a very limited schedule and a very limited amount of time to play the game. You can have two alts, you can have four, you can have six. The number is really just up to you and how much time you want to put into the game. So um, we're going to make the alt characters. I'm going to just throw them up here so that you can, so it's easier to visualize. We have alt number one. I'm going to use four for this example. That doesn't mean that that's like the magic number or anything. That's just what I'm going to use for this example here. So I have alt one, two, three, and now I have alt uh, number four. And once you use your Vern power passes um, or your knowledge transfer, your alts are immediately going to get from level 10 to 50. I already have videos talking about this, so I'm not going to get into detail on it, but your alts are going to start off at item level 300. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to do your chaos dungeons. If you have extra time, your guardian raids, Una's tasks are also something else you want to do alts on. But you're going to go through your regular daily routine stuff that you do on your main character on your alts. And you're going to send those materials over to your main character to kind of help you get past that roadblock. So you're going to get past that 550-ish roadblock. You're going to crawl up to 600. And once you get to item level 600, you are now in tier 2 on your main character. And that's really the point that you have to be very careful to not make that mistake that I talked about. As soon as you get to tier 2, you get your tier 2 gear. It's going to immediately take you up to item level 800. You're probably going to get to item level 900 very quickly as well because you go through those really early levels that don't really require a lot of resources that have a 100% honing success rate. So you're going to get to 900-ish, maybe even 950. You can do your tier 2 islands. There's some other stuff. Make sure to do your Yorn story. Get all those easy materials, but you are going to hit a roadblock in tier 2. It's going to happen just like you. it probably happened to you in tier 1. It's definitely 100% going to happen to you in tier 2. And at this point, you might be like, well, this kind of sucks because my alts are tier 1. They're not going to be useful to me at all now that my main character is in tier two because my alts are only going to be getting tier one materials, right? Well, this is why it's very important to get this step right, right here. So it doesn't matter how many alts you have, one, two, three, four, however many it is, what you want to do once your main character actually moves into tier two is stop claiming all those important tier one items on your main. And then you want to designate a new character that you're going to focus on getting from tier one to tier two. So you can kind of think of it as like select your main alt character. I know that's a bit weird to even say, but think of it like that. So in this example, alt number one is going to be my main alt. And now I want to repeat exactly what I did for my main character. I want to now do for my new main alt. I want to funnel all the materials over from all my alts into alt number one to try to get alt number one from tier one to tier two as quickly as I possibly can. And I already made a video about this as well. Don't forget to go to your stronghold and get the research that's going to lower the materials. It's gonna lower the harmony shards and it's gonna increase the success rate. So getting your alts from tier one to tier two is already going to be a lot easier than your main character. If you think it's gonna be a massive grind, it's still gonna be a grind, but it's not gonna be nearly as bad as it was the first time around. So we're going to designate Alt-1 as, you know, the main um, 
the main alt that I'm going to uh, start sending stuff over. So now when I do my Chaos Dungeons on Alt 2, Alt 3, and Alt 4, I'm going to send all those materials over. And this is why those Harmony Shards, or it wasn't Harmony Shards, it was Leap Stones. Those Leap Stones that I actually didn't claim on my main character, I now want to claim them on my new main alt that is going to rush, um, maybe rush isn't the best word, but focus on getting to Tier 2 one character at a time. You do not want to keep materials evenly distributed. Like you don't want to spread everything evenly because what you want to do is get a character to tier two as efficiently as you can. You want to funnel resources again because if everything is evenly distributed, it's going to take a very long time for any of your alts to get to tier two. And until your alts get to tier two, they're not going to be useful to your main character. It's, it's at the point where you now have an alt that's at tier two that it's going to start becoming useful again for your main character. And if you funnel materials, that's how it's going to work. So we're funneling materials from alts 2, 3, and 4 to alt number 1, and we're slowly working on it. We're keeping our other alts at like 300. You can get them up a little bit, 350, 400, but don't go any, really any higher than that. So our um, alt number 1 is now like 400, 500, and now we get to 600 item level on our main alts. And now alt number 1 is able to transition into tier two. And now that I have an alt character that is in tier two, uh, now, finally, it's gonna be useful to my main character again. And now what you do is on my main character, I'm still doing my daily chaos dungeons, guardian raids. On alt number one, which is now in tier two, I'm gonna be doing tier two content, like tier two chaos dungeons, and I'm gonna be funneling those materials now to my main character. And now that I have two, uh, three alts left that are in tier one, Alt number two, three, and four, I'm going to repeat the process. So now I'm going to pick another alt that's going to be my new main alt, and that's going to be like number two right now. And let me just fix this so it's like a little bit easier just to visualize here. And basically exactly the same process. Now I'm going to go on alt number two, and I'm going to funnel materials from three and four to number two, and I'm going to rush. Again, rush is not the right word. I should, I should just say focus. Focus on alt number two, getting alt number two to tier two, as uh, efficiently as I can. And now I have two characters that are able to help my main with tier two materials. This is the, really the way that you want to think about it. Don't keep stuff evenly distributed. Think of it like this. And um, I know I've been getting a lot of questions about this. So hopefully this kind of really puts, puts together the puzzle, like fits things together to understand why the mistake that I talked about of claiming materials on your main once you get to tier two is such a bad idea, but why it's still incredibly useful for your progress if you claim them on your alt characters correctly. So again, I threw a lot of info at you guys in this video, so I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that this helped out, I really do. Um, I know I've been getting so much questions about this. This has gotta be one of the top three questions that I get, and I, I hope this helped answer a lot of those questions. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos, and feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv salt, where I'll be streaming lots of Lost Ark and other games. And that's going to be it for now. So take care, everyone. Have a fantastic rest of your day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Enjoy Lost Ark. And until next time.